In today's video, we'll be looking at creating pattern designs with given shapes. So this page is taken from your textbook and I'll be using this as an example. Now in part A, we are taught to, cre to create two different pattern designs using this particular shape. So it's really up to your creativity. We don't have any fixed answers. As long as you are able to repeat the shape and provide us with a pattern, then you will get the mark. Okay, so in the first solution that they offer you, they are arranging them in such a manner. So you can see that this um, outline shape is actually a reflection. We flip it over, then we combine it with um, other orientations, including flipping it around also. And in the shape that is created over here, we see no gaps. Okay, so this is one possibility that you can have. Now using the same shape over here, you can, also, you can actually create big arrows like this. You can flip them around just as long as they repeat themselves. It is also considered a pattern. Now in this, um, if we compare these two patterns that were formed, like as I mentioned, the first pattern has no gaps. The second pattern has gaps. Does it matter? No, it doesn't matter unless the question specifically asks you to create a pattern with no gaps or with gaps. Okay? Otherwise, it is really up to um, your own creativity and your own artistic flair for the answers. Now in part B, uh, we are supposed to create patterns with a star. So you can arrange the star in this way, you can arrange the star in this way. Now, in example two, in your textbook also, this is an example of using two shapes to create one pattern. Earlier on, we were only creating patterns using one shape. So here is an example of how we can use two different shapes to create a pattern. So in this case, they are just repeating the shapes over and over again, putting them side by side. As you can see, this is not difficult. So you can try this example yourself at the bottom of the page or we can go straight to exercise 6.1 okay the entire exercise 6.1 there are many questions but we'll just go through one of these questions and that sh and that will be sufficient okay so we're going to use this shape to create two pattern designs okay so design one and design two again really up to your creativity for me i would like to place them in a row like this Okay, so another row in the bottom. So this is one possible design that you can have. Of course, you can, you can draw more if you want to. But as long as we can tell the pattern, it is good enough. Okay, so the quality of your work, well, the quality of my work is not that great. I'm sure you can do better with rulers. Okay, so homework for this is just to complete design number two and that's all we are going to be doing for exercise 6.1.